I tell you, stories like that are best told through the eyes of the players. Some epic moments in this series, including 2012 big Canadian bacon. 300 pound nose tackle Mike Atkinson with a pick six to help Boise State pick up the 7-6 win over the Cougars back in 2012. One of the more memorable plays from the time I've been covering this Boise State football team and I'm in season number nine. How about this next one? Kind of on the opposite end of the spectrum. Certainly is. Bo BYU has some crazy moments. 2015, the Manga Miracle here in Provo, former Eagle star quarterback Tanner Mangum with a fourth quarter Hail Mary heave. The touchdown proved to be the game winner to give the Cougars their last win in this series back in 2015. And of course, who can forget last year's final play of the game? I remember chilling down by the other side, uh, not where the, or, uh, where the ball was. And uh, I was watching, you know, I actually couldn't look. I was actually facing the other way. <laughs> And then I heard the, the crowd go quiet, so I knew the play was going on. And then it starts going wild. Turned around, defense is running around, and I was like, man, like, it was just the most, like, the best moment I've had uh, in my college football career, uh, one of the best moments, so it was awesome. Khalil Shakir there. Couldn't even watch last year's final play of the game. He was so nervous. But in the end here, Bronco Nation starts screaming and shouting, and he knew Boise State would hang on with a game-winning goal line stand. You know, one memory to share from that game that I remember is um, he's no longer with the program, but I'm still going to talk about it. Tyson Maeva, yeah. the middle linebacker. BYU's driving down. He makes a big tackle to force um, the Cougars out near uh, inside the, inside the uh, red zone. And I just remember afterwards kind of standing right by him, and you could tell, like, how much – pain and exhaustion yeah. he was going through yeah. and he still peeled himself up off the blue turf went back out there immediately like snapped lined everybody up yep. and helped you know it was yeah. pivotal in, in lining everybody up to make that stop on Zach Wilson to end the game absolutely BYU had a big screen pass to drive yep. all the way down there on the doorstep and just the emotion inside the stadium one play huh. to determine if Boise State wins or loses yeah. win or lose all or nothing. It, it's one of those games oh, where man. walking out of the stadium, yeah. there's still just this crazy buzz, buzz and yeah. energy yeah. because you just experienced some awesome college football and it helps the Broncos won. <laughs> um, you know, I will say this. If we do want to talk about one area of concern for Boise State, it's likely doing stuff that's causing officials to throw flags. Hanky party and not something that Boise State likes to see yeah. over the last two games. You know, one thing that Boise State does have to get cleaned up is some of those mishaps. Get this, Boise State was the eighth least penalized team in the country, surrendering just 36.5 penalty yards per game during the month of September. Since the calendar flipped though, well, they've been the third most penalized team in the FBS during the month of October. That's a trend that obviously has cause for concern for head coach Brian Harson. I'm not fired up that our trend is going up in penalties. The flag on the field. They're going to back Boise State up five yards. The certain penalties that we can control, like the false starts. False start, number 85. Offense, five-yard penalty. We handle that. There's a consequence for that. The other ones, all right, what was it? Was it being lazy or was it poor technique or just a bad call? 